I'm Andy Beardsley, Managing Director and Senior Geospatial Survey and Monitoring Consultant at Terra Measurement Limited. We are based in the centre of the UK and provide our consultation and services for projects predominantly across the United Kingdom, but also worldwide. Chetwin Bridge is located in Staffordshire in the UK and is a three-arch cast iron bridge carrying a road over the River Tame. This is an historic bridge that is Grade 2 star listed and it is the largest surviving pre-1830s cast iron bridge in England and the second largest in the world. So due to the age of the bridge, the client team needed to overcome various challenges. Also discovering that when they were coming to repair the bridge, the damage to the cast iron bridge was more severe than first thought. Works of the bridge included a careful restoration of ironwork and sympathetic paintwork reinstatement. After the repairs, the client wanted to monitor the impact of traffic running over the bridge and detect if the bridge became damaged or started to deteriorate over time. This is currently on a single arch, but the plan is to expand to all three arches very soon. So some of our challenges. Because this, this is an historic bridge and grade two star listed, there could not be any sensors bolted or glued to the bridge. The sensors had to be subtle and not impact the visual aesthetic look of the bridge. Because there was also a video system required alongside the two move solution gateways, the total power requirement was relatively high. And because of the location, there was not a suitable position for a bank of solar panels or a wind turbine or whatever for an off-grid power system. And the river under the bridge is also prone to flooding and very fast flowing. There are approximately 60 sensors over the bridge. There are 36 accelerometers. These not only measure the dynamic impacts across the structure, but also enable modal frequency analysis and modal shapes be created to better understand the bridge behavior and deterioration over time. There are nine dynamic displacement sensors. These are installed to measure the deflection across each cast iron rib span to measure the, literally the impact of the bridge deck on top of the cast iron. There are 15 tilt sensors. These are to measure any lateral or vertical changes in angle due to the damage, any damage or floodwater pressure. There are two move gateways just to ensure that the large amount of dynamic, which is real time, and static data flows seamlessly to the server. And then finally, uh, we started off with two cameras and were eventually asked to install a third camera to uh, monitor the, the traffic going over the bridge. So prior to the monitoring phase, we were involved in the um, geospatial data capture to inform the repair process. And we were the geospatial survey consultant. So we captured the bridge in high accuracy 3D. Our survey delivery included topographical survey and riverbed survey in a digital terrain model, several 2D CAD drawings to document the bridge structure accurately, a virtual tour of the bridge for inspection and a Revit model. So as you can see from these installation photographs, um, there was a simple way that we overcame the challenge of the historic bridge aesthetics. And that was because the bridge was freshly painted, we were able to paint the sensors to the exact same colour swatch as the bridge, blending them in nicely. So the installation took approximately two days with a third day of testing. So to overcome the challenge of adhering the sensors to the bridge, it was very beneficial that it was made of cast iron because we could use high strength magnets. Because of the addition of the camera requirements, that made the power consumption quite large, but because of our collaborative relationship with Staffordshire Highways, we were able to liaise and get to use some of the 24 volt street lighting power, which powers the system. The final challenge was making sure that the sensors were placed above any historic uh, flood level. So we simply found out the local flood level and set out the sensors to make sure there was good clearance. And only weeks later, that was put to immediate test when Storm Babbitt hit the UK and there was a major flood, but our sensors stayed dry. So to conclude, it's uh, September 2024 as I am recording this, and there has been seamless monitoring over that time. And obviously all of that data is stored for analysis and reflection. In February 2024, we did modal frequency analysis of the bridge to, to reveal really uh, intricate details of its behavior and trends. We're now using our system to detect and enforce overweight vehicles um, correlating with the sensor data. Um, and we're pleased to say that there's no new damage um, 
been detected over that time. But actually what's happened is this is acting as a justification for the significant cost of building a new bridge to make sure that this grade two star listed structure is protected. Thank you.